Okay, counselors, now I am going to show you how to export a report. So I have clicked on reports over in your left-hand sidebar menu. I want to only generate a report of my students who are graduating in 2021. Now I may actually be able to see in my list students who graduated in a prior year, but I only want to see my current year high school graduate. So I'm going to select 2021 in the high school graduation year, and I'm gonna click search. And that is gonna give me a list of all my students who are 2021 graduates, who have either submitted a MAP or a FAFSA. If they have submitted neither, they will not appear on this report. Okay, and I'm gonna click, and I, I'm not gonna put in any more parameters, I'm just going to click export report. Okay, and that is going to open on, and I'm on a PC, and that is going to open in the bottom left-hand um, corner of my screen. So I'm going to open the file, and it's going to open as an Excel. And I am going to click on this button that says Enable Editing. Okay, and now I can manipulate this file, and I can sort and um, filter, and I can do things with it. Now, let me just tell you, um, put your mind at ease, this ID number over here is not a social security number. It is, in fact, just a randomly assigned ID number that has no meaning um, to you or anyone outside of the state financial aid office. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this um, triangle up here in the top left hand corner of my screen so that the whole thing is selected and then i'm going to go up here in the top under the in the editing box where it says filter and sort and i'm going to click filter okay and you'll notice that a bunch of little down arrows pop up on each of your columns um, on your excel spreadsheet now, I only want to see the students who have not submitted a map because I want to reach out to them and say, hey, why haven't you seen your map yet? So I'm going to click on that air down arrow and then it's going to see select all and I only want to see not submitted. I check not submitted. I click OK. And now only I only have one student who has not done the map, who attends my high school. Okay, now let's say I want to, I want to see all the ones, all the students who have submitted a map. Now I can do the same thing, but instead of not submitted, I just click submitted. Okay, now I see that I have three students who have submitted a map. But now of the ones who have applied for state aid, I want to see who still needs um, me as their counselor to submit their core certification. Now I can select, I can look at help, go to the help core column and select still needed. All right, and now I see that two still need me to, as their counselor, to go in and satisfy um, or certify their help core curriculum. And then, so this is a way you can use these exported lists to identify students who you need, may need to follow up with or reach out to. Um, these are students, this is a way that you can easily see who needs your help, who does not, who still has things that they have left need they need to do to complete their financial aid process. You can also see here who has completed a FAFSA, when that FAFSA was completed. You can see whether that um, student was selected for verification.